this video, I wanted to go over the Ninza Indicator Titanoboa Trader. I've got it loaded here with the factory settings. I'm just going to click Apply. So basically, it's taking any line that you can plot on your chart, and it's creating lines of resistance and support that are a different amount of standard deviations away. And then it will also give you a signal when it's breaking out of this main line or returning back in through any of these different support lines. So right now the Titanoboa trader is just calculating price. It's calculating the one minute close here. So we can change this input series to anything. I'm going to choose an EMA with a period of 200. So now you can see here's our 200 EMA in the background. It'll print a pink line for a downtrend or a green line for an uptrend. And then we have all these different lines of deviation. Uh, for the markers, I've got it only printing the return signals, not the breakout signals. That's the way it comes with the factory settings. I think the return signals are more accurate. You can plot all five support and resistance levels or just some of them. You can also choose a multiplier for each support and resistance level. So if you wanted them to be further apart, you know, you could make the number bigger for the support level five. And now you see our support level five is a little further out. I can change the color of this shaded area between all the different support and resistance levels and change them to any color that I like. You can change the colors and the thickness of all the different individual support and resistance lines. And for the markers, if I have a bunch of different signals on here, I could customize these markers to say whatever I want them to. And now it prints this 200 EMA marker, so I know which one I'm talking about if I were to have multiple instances of the Titanoboa trader on my chart. So let's see what this looks like. I've got a NASDAQ one minute chart. Here we have a candle that breaks back above this level five support and we get a marker that prints bullish. And shortly after we have a nice move up. Same thing over here. We have a candle closing back below this top fifth level and we get a marker short and it also drops nicely. And all along the way you can see that these lines are very nice levels of support and resistance that you can use for scalping or other trading methodologies. But being able to create support and resistance levels based on any moving average or any line that prints on your chart. It's a really amazing tool to have. Here we are a little bit later and we have price crossing back below our fifth level here. We get a nice short signal. Same thing happens again a half hour later. Another nice short signal. So here we're coming in for the morning session today. September 14th, we get a nice bullish signal. Uh, we had a news reaction right here. And then a little bit later, still in the pre-market, we have a nice signal to go short. Comes right back down to this 200 EMA. And we can also see how it's bouncing nicely off of a lot of these standard deviation levels. Here's the market open. We get a nice break of the 200 moving average. Price continues lower, and then we get a bullish signal. Uh, price moves up very nicely. Here's a bearish signal once we cross back below this fifth area. And we get another nice little drop right back down to the 200 moving average. Here's a little bit after 10 o'clock, we get a short signal. Uh, chops around a little bit, ultimately 
drops down and then we get a bullish signal around 1030 great move up right back to the 200 EMA breaks above goes all the way up to this next level so you can see just in the past 24 hours we've had a lot of really great signals using this indicator can also show you if we change the input series to 20 EMA instead on the Titana Boa Trader. can also change this markers to reflect the appropriate EMA. So you can see we're getting some different signals. This is only looking 20 bars back instead of 200 so so this might be a better EMA to use on a ranging market might get you into trades a little bit quicker so you definitely want to fine-tune and play around with this depending on which time frame you're using you could also choose a simple moving average a 50 input simple moving average and just get rid of all these words together if you want just have arrows so here we have a nice short signal, another nice short signal there, nice long signal. If I wanted to move this fifth support and resistance line out a little ways, could multiply it by, let's say, eight. It moves these lines a little bit further out, and now we're getting in a little bit quicker on these reversals. See, we get a nice short right at the top there and a nice long there right at the bottom. So a lot of different ways you can customize this. You really want to play around with it and fine tune it for whatever instrument and time frame that you are trading. So here's a different time frame. This is a 1000 tick chart. We're not really getting any signals during the New York Open like we were on the other charts. So what I'm looking at is right around this fourth support and resistance line on both sides that's pretty much where it's going to before it's reversing so what we can do in our Titana Boa Trader settings for the threshold return we can change it from a level 5 to a level 4 and now we're getting signals when it's crossing back above the fourth supporter resistance line. So back here we have a nice short signal back down to the moving average. Here we have a nice long signal when it crosses above this fourth level instead of the fifth level. So for whatever time frame you trade, whether it's a tick chart or a range chart or a volume chart, there's ways to fully customize this indicator so you can get an appropriate amount of signals for the time frame that you trade. So it's definitely important to play around with all the different settings. So once you get something that looks good on your chart, you just go back in time and see how often it repeats. We're getting a nice short signal there, a nice long signal there. So this is looking like a good setting for a thousand tick chart. And I can back test for as long as I want until I feel like I've got a system that I can be fully confident trading with. Thank you.